Hi, in this video I am surviving 100 days of hardcore minecraft with datapex and now you can see the end because with these datapex the end looks absolutely insane and the nether too so just stay tuned and wait for the end and the nether because it's so cool for me so we can start on day zero I have casually started with mining some cobblestone and killing some cows and sheep for a bed and for leather, you know? Uh, then I found cave, so I have mined iron and coal for uh, for a few things, then I have crafted myself a furnace and smoker so I can uh, get myself all the things that I need, then on day one I have started by uh, when went uh, for some treasure hunting. So I went uh, on boat and then I have found my first uh, data pack thing. And this first data pack is uh, the things when I can find some of that ships that are not sinking. So in these ships there are a very very good loot you know and then i have found another sunken ship so i went quickly in for some gold for some iron you know and then i went uh, on the second on the second day i went finding some some buried treasure map that i have found and i have found another three diamonds so this was pretty cool you know and this is the second day and then i have crafted myself some iron pickaxe because i have found some ruined portal underwater and i want these god blocks from it so i have crafted myself some armor and then i went underwater for these god blocks you know and then i have found another ship from data pack but this time it wasn't bad it was from villagers so this was good. You can see the villagers have custom traits. So these data packs are so cool to play on and you can check them all out in the description. And then I have found village and I have made myself some home on day third. And then I have done some of tree cutting and dust myself uh, and ender, nether portal so i went on day four i went to the nether i've got so lucky because i have found the most rarest nether uh, castle that i could possibly find because this castle is like 10 10 thousand blocks away from each other so this castle is so so rare that i have spawned literally few blocks from it is insane and then i have uh, i can't afford the castle because it's so powerful and it i will i will come on the castle in later in this video so now back to the uh, back to the normal uh, fi uh, day five when i have found some tower and then on day six i have found some house so i went to the house because you know it's free loot and i have uh, found some uh, spider spawner and two golden apples so it wasn't anything special that much yeah it's a good loot but not that special then i have i have bought some arrows from fletcher and tried to kill some piglins that have crossbow that shoots rockets so this is insane castle you know like what the fuck like pig uh, piglin brutes that firing rockets are insanely op you know so i'm like they can literally shooting uh, shoot the rockets like 100 blocks from the spot where are they and then on day 7 I have uh, tried another data pack that is in this uh, 100 days. So 
these data pack is loot boxes that are dropping from uh, hostile maps and on day 7 I have completed some uh, tasks that I wanted to do the it was it was enchanting table and then I went back to the nether on day 8 to 9 because I wanted to explore more than just this castle because I don't have enough resources to fought this castle uh, and I have found uh, one ancient debris in the heights yeah and then I have found some bastion so I went I went fighting this bastion because you know it's worth it it's like free loot uh, you need to, to pay attention uh, to this piglin bruise but then it's okay you know if you like have tactic to uh, fought this piglin brutes it's cool to like actually for them and then I have just looted this this uh, bastion and went back home on the day 10 I went home and just melted my ancient debris that I have found in this bastion you know and opened it some loot boxes so this was pretty cool like these loot boxes are OP maybe more OP than than it should be but you know these like these structures that are spawning are uh, like broken so these loot boxes are pretty good and then on day 10 to 9 uh, 10 to 11 I went to the piglin village yes in this mm, data packs there are uh, piglin villages when they can spawn in the nether you know so that's cool because I have found one and I have looted it a uh, like this piglin villages don't have the best loot that can possibly be but they have pretty good loot though so yeah that's cool you know so I have killed some piglins I have on myself some golden boots so and that's the reason why they don't uh, wanna kill me and then I said to myself that I need level 30 to enchant my first diamond pickaxe so I when I was in the village I have mined all the quartz that I needed to level 30 so this was pretty cool and on day 12 I have finally enchanted my diamond pickaxe and it was so bad so I must like grinded it or whatever then I have trapped one villager and I have from loot boxes you can get zombie spawn egg so that's why I have zombie spawn egg and then when I have finally like infected this villager I have stayed all like day to like uh, wait for this villager to be recovered from it and then I went I wanted this mending on day 14 I was fighting two uh, drownets with trident you know and then I went on day 15 I went uh, looting some more towers you know for some loot and then you can see my funny water bucket MLG jump or whatever it's called and on day 16 I accidentally fell into the lava. I don't know what happened, but I have water bucket, so it was it was cool, you know. So I went to the Nether for more uh, for more like I don't know exploring. I want to kill more piglins that have you know these crossbows with rockets in them. So you can see that here one rocket just completely missed me so I don't take any damage but it's dangerous because these rockets that these piglin boots are shooting are so dangerous you know like they they like giving you four hearts four full hearts and I have like uh, iron armor on me so on the day 16 I went to look around the first like floor in this in this whole castle but uh, I I will not like explore it in the 16 
I will wait um, and on day 17 to 25 I went to the actual uh, like castle so you can see these piglins have like full iron armor iron sword and they they have golden apples so they are pretty fire and you know these piglins have the have pickaxes so when you when you are like two blocks away from them they are they are like destroying the blocks you know beneath you so you need to be extra extra safe when you fighting them because they are so dangerous and I I did a lot of uh, like forging my items so in this castle because I needed to be like the most prepared that I possibly can be and now you can see this piglin have like netherite sword like this is completely insane like like what the fuck is that you know like you know and the best part um, from these piglins are that they can drop like diamonds and netherite stuff and gold and iron ingots you know so it's it's worth it to kill them and you you must kill them to like really be safe and you can see here how I like do this with this fire because they can't break f fire with pickaxe so they can't get to me but this piglin just went uh, f to me because the fire was not there anymore but I have killed him so this was this was like lucky and this piglin started shooting me so I have like hide from him now you can see another type of these piglins this is like alchemist piglin he can throw like potions at you potions of slowness poison and harming you know and now you can see the like strongest piglin he have full netherite armor on him and he has like diamonds the uh, netherite sword and netherite pickaxe so he can actually like kill you like in two seconds you know but I have like uh, discovered a bug when he can't go through lava so I have won this fight against him but he fell in into the lava and he like broke one block above me so I almost died but killed them all here you can see this bump like this bump was insanely OP I just don't know how this works but it was so cool to have like a bump full of golden blocks so you must like actually uh, mine these golden blocks to get one but you don't have like enough full gold blocks because this thing just blow up and on day 26 when I finally got away from this castle I have completed my full netherite armor and on day 27 I went finding stronghold you know so I can get to this like nether uh, I mean ant and uh, kill the ender dragon because the ant is quite different from the normal ant but you will see it what I mean by different you know it's not e like this thing will have only like another biomes but this thing have pretty much everything new you know completely new dragon battle so it was cool on day 28 I I have I was preparing myself from for the end and making myself like a new home where I can stay through all these days because I don't want to live in a villager house like a whole hundred days so on day 29 I have finished my house no I don't finish it I just make a roof and then I was afk because I was waiting for my scent and on day 30 I have completed my house 
because I had all the glass that I needed to finally like complete my house with these uh, glass glass walls and on day 31 I I was just moving all my items and like kind of sorting them out you know so I have sorted them out I have only six chests and in the later in this video I will find that six chests are pretty bad like sorting system and on day 32 I went to the cave and I have found some another spawner yeah so I have I have like saw so many spawners that I don't actually care about spawners anymore because you don't need those in these data packs and on day 33 I was still in the cave I was finding some diamonds but I don't find anything so on day 34 to 35 I went to the nether to explore more biomes you know I have found this biome where are like blackstone and uh, from this basalt there are trees from basalt and crank obsidian and then I have found some house made out of quartz so I went in and there were a lot of skeletons you know and then on on day 36 I have prepared myself for the dragon battle so I have created my bow with power 3 so it's very powerful you know and and on and then I have created myself and the chest for me to actually like get all the things that I need but I don't have silk touch so it's it's completely useless for me I have found out this in the end and on day 37 I went back to the end portal so I will actually get to the end on day 37 to, thir to 40 I, I have spent my whole like three days in this end and this end is like different from other ends because you have a lot of biomes and you don't spawn in the dragon pit you spawn like 2000 or 4000 blocks away from it so you need to travel all all the way to the dragon pit to came back home you know it's so cool and i think this dragon battle is more interesting because you can like actually get first elytras and then fight the dragon so i have gotten myself some elytras and all the way through this new like end city you can see that there are shulker spawners so this is so op and then I went I went to the dragon pit these coordinates are 0 and 0 you know z is 0 and x is 0 too so you need to travel from I mean like 2000 and 2000 to 0 to 0 so to like actually kill this end dragon and the pretty much best things from this like bosses are that you can get legendary loot boxes and these loot boxes are special because you get from them very special things that you can't get or they are very rare you know so on day 41 i have spent my whole day opening all the loot boxes that i've got from my from my way through the end so you can see here all the things that I have gotten so Ankerman you know and these loot boxes are actually like uh, like sorted by how rare they there are so you can see the legendary box have like villager spawner egg so I have spawned on day 42 I have spawned my villager and I want this silk touch so on day 43 I have spent a whole my day just trading with this villager and don't, don't get anything on day 44 to 48 I went to the end and I had like idea that I will I will like you know mine all the netherite or ancient debris to then 
like actually have enough for for beacon but on day 49 i had only two stacks of ancient debris so you know like like i said to myself that this is not very good you know so yeah and then i have sorted all my things because i had like this big this big like adventure in the in end so i've got like really really anything from the end and on day 49 i was continuing with this bastion so <clears throat> i went to the bastion for some gold blocks you know i have only two and a half stacks of gold blocks so <laughs> i went for more you know <laughs> like i don't need those but yeah on day 50 i i have like i have like mined some uh, you know sand for some more like glass pattern so i can trade with it and then i bought myself a map to the to the how it's called a mansion yes uh, these mansions and this mansion is with data packs too so it's a special mansion it's like i don't know maybe five times bigger than the normal mansion and it have yeah, like really cool loot for the mansion you know the mansion in the normal minecraft have uh, like i don't know like pretty poor loot and in this mansion you have pretty good loot but you have so much pillagers in this and ravager yes you have ravager too here and you can actually find some enchanted golden apples you know god apples so yes this was very cool and on day 56 i went back home and on day 57 i spent whole day by sorting my my items because i have a lot of items so i wanted to have like some sorting system or not like sorting system but like more chests you know so i can have like more things where i can put my items in so on day 59 i have finally bought trident from from this villager ship and on day 60 to 69 i was afk and on day 62 too because i have to completely forget about it and on day 64 to 70 i went i went finding this another like pillager structure because i wanted to explore most of the data packs in this 100 days so i have spent like six days finding finding this uh this building you know and like actually like defeated building and on the 71 i have found out that like literally 50 blocks away from this one castle or one building there's a, another building like completely the same building so yeah i went in the second building too on day 72 to 73 i went back home you know and it wasn't that far away but it just like it just like set me back on day 74 i was afk and then on day 75 i have cut it some more trees you know like it was it was good on day 76 i continued with these trees cutting because i wanted to build something and i have decided that i will build some dog yes a dog uh, but it like i'm not a good builder so this dog will look uh, like i don't know <laughs> a little bit stupid you know so on day 77 i have continued with this dog like he looks so stupid you know like you can see it here so i have like uh, build him some claws and and like bigger bigger body so he wouldn't look like a stick or you know so on day 78 i was like completing this dog so 
I have completed his tail and on day 79 I have I have built some kind of some kind of you know beach in the mountain on the mountain on end day 80 I was continuing with this on day 81 I went to the end just to like look at something interesting but I don't find anything so I went back home and I went to the spawner that I have found in, like in the day 7 uh, or 10 and on day 83 I have like covered it up so I can kill some more skeletons for experience and on day 84 I went for some stone with my silk touch pickaxe and on day 85 I have started building another building um I don't know what should like this building be but on day 86 I have continued with this building and on day 77 uh 87 I have finally completed this building you know this roof and everything so this was pretty good you know so on day 88 I went for some ice I don't know why I went for some ice but I just said to myself that it will be cool and on my way back home I have fallen to the ocean because my elytra broke but it was cool so I have tried it with villager to get some more XP and on day 91 I was AFK and on day 92 I've got some trading villager I mean wandering trader and he tried to rob me so I must kill him you know like you just need to understand this so I have killed all his his comp Limits. what the fuck uh, on day 93 I was practicing some water buckets and on day 94 I went on some hunt with my bow you know and on day 95 I have created myself netherite hoe and on day 96 I have enchanted my axe on day 97 I have completed achievement post mortal so yeah that's pretty cool and on day 98 I have started by like breaking my netherite hoe so it will be like I thought it will be cool you know and on day 99 I have finally broke broke this this netherite hoe but nothing happened because I needed to actually be to actually like farm with this and on day 100 it was complete and thank you guys subscribe and bye in the next video so thank you for watching